let's see. That's uh, who sings I Want My Money for Nothing. I Want My MTV. And my chicks for free. That's right. Who sings that? Oh, I know it. It's right here. <laughs> Tip of my tongue. <laughs> 80s trivia, folks. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, it's not Van Halen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, no, wait. Um, the guys with the beards. That's what you just <laughs> sounded like. Uh, the guys with the beard? Yeah. sound like a guy with a beard. ZZ Top. Yeah, was it them? No. No, they that's sing you Sharp Dressed like. Man. I like, yes, I they like did Sharp song. Dressed Man. That's right. I don't know, Gene. You'll have to give us the answer. Dire Straits. Dire Straits. Dang it. And it was I do know that. Sting who sings the I Want My MTV part. Uh, soprano. I Want My MTV Back. And then Weird Al. I do. Did a parody video. Uh-huh. Beverly Hillbillies. With the same tune? The same tune. So, all do right, we like that our... one, or do we still like the mowing, nerdy mowing? <laughs> <laughs> the nerdy mowing is a lot to take I, in. I, <laughs> I, I play that in my... Uh, in your every, When I'm out there mowing the lawn every <laughs> weekend. Um. <laughs> That's good. It's his... Uh, what's it called? I always want to say walkout song. Is that right? Yeah, what's this... When you're walking to walk the bay? Walk-up music. Walk up. Walk yeah. up. Well, Lana was sharing with me what her walk-up music would be. Mm. So, and it's the uh, uh, it's the one part from the um, Derek and Domino's song. Can you sing it for us? Yeah. No. <laughs> we need a sample. <laughs> Drawing a blank. This is your wife, right? I was like, come on, yes, yes. any more That's questions? Right. That's right. It might be private. Okay. Okay. Um, chamber chat. And yes. Coxie's here and Hello. Jessica's here. How y'all doing? Wonderful. Good. The only thing I love more than rain mm -hmm. is snow. So I'm so happy. Are we then not? Fine. You can come down and sweep off the dish when it snows. Okay. So we don't lose all our programming here. Okay. I'm available from 7 to 7. Uh-uh. Don't call me at 3 in the morning. No. <laughs> no. You said you wanted snow. She's on, You're getting a call. I love it so much. Get your much. broom. Go down there and sweep off the dish. Yep. Is, it, is it high? Do I have to climb something? Yes. Mm. I mean, it's in the back behind the building, but you do have to get up on the ladder to get into it because it's. Hey, it's if a big it guaranteed dish. more snow was coming, I'd do it. Oh, <sighs> see, look at that, Gene. Yeah, back in the day. We're givers at the chamber. You know, if the snow messed up the signal on the dish, we had to drive from wherever we were, get somebody to go sweep the dish off. Now, if the dish loses its signal, it fails over to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps working. That's awesome. Why doesn't the dish have like a solar panel where it automatically melts like your back? That's a heck of an idea. Um, your back windshield. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites do have that. And there's lots of pictures on YouTube of cats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sitting on the warm <laughs> satellite dish. <laughs> so the signal still gets interrupted. Because you had, though, now you have a cat. Now you have a cat or two or three sitting on your dish. I'll come over and shoot your cats <laughs> while I brush off Ooh, the... Oh, man. That's mean. Oh, I mean, I love cats. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't shoot Are them. you dog I people? I said shoe them, not oh, shoot. Oh, okay. We, oh, miss, we shoe, misheard. Shoo, kitty, kitty. Shoo, kitty, kitty. Shoo, come roll, here. Come roll the mama. tape, Jeffrey. Shoo, <laughs> shoo. <shoo. laughs> we need a playback. Uh, hey, 4th of July is not that far away. Correct. It's like next weekend. Oh, my so gosh. I know. How are things going? Week and a half. <clears throat> we're very thankful oh. for the rain. That mm -hmm. is great yes. timing. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we're moving forward with everything 4th of July. Saturday is the golf tournament. Okay. Uh, the country club. So, Juan's doing tea times at, or not tea times, shotgun starts at 8 and 1 that day so you can choose it's a four person scramble it's only 30 bucks if you want to play um sponsorships are available for 500 which helps get you part of the fireworks show so if you were thinking of maybe donating to the show you could just play golf mm -hmm. sponsor a team of four mm -hmm. and get a twofer you've done your duty yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh and then there's the truck rodeo that's going to be really fun. So sure. we're all going to go out Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. July 2nd. I'm going to wear my helmet just in case. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Try your hand at driving a big rig. <laughs> if you are 18 and over, uh -huh. that's the stipulation, is that you can try to drive a big rig. They'll teach you how. Okay. But the biggest thing is um, they're doing a raffle for your chance to win the tuition to go through their class. 
It's a five-week study course um, here in Artesia, Artesia Training Academy. Um, and you end up with your CDL at the end of this course. If you pass. You, well, yeah. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> but... There's that. <laughs> well, there's, it's kind of important. That. You I take mean, the class, you pass, pass the, the class, test, yes. then you get the CDL. But this weekend, you could try your hand at driving, and then you probably were going to be like, yeah, I should take this class. Because um, you're going to fall in love with it. Or all of so a sudden, your name is going to drop out of the box because mm -hmm. they're going to look at that. So, no, we're not trying. Liability. That, they yeah. don't want her to win. Mm -mm. <laughs> her? Why'd you say her and look at me? <laughs> I meant her meaning me. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the tape, Jeffrey. <laughs> Her meaning me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. They're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers out there. And, and this class is valued at $4,500. Yes. So it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This past weekend was Father's Day, and I was listening to uh, Eric Butler's Sunday Morning Classics, and he played a trucker song for Father's Day mm -hmm. called Giddy Up Go. Oh. And the guy tells the story how he was a truck driver. And he had a kid, and the kid loved to ride along with him and said, giddy up, go. And so he had a little license plate made that said, Cute. giddy up, go. Well, then the family, you know, got a divorce. He lost track of the wife and the kid. And one day he's driving down the highway, and he sees another truck come along. And it's got a sign on the back that says, giddy up, go. That makes me want to cry. So he follows him to the truck stop and strikes up a conversation and finds out. It's his son. Whoa. Wow. All that in a little three-minute song on a Sunday morning. Did you fire. cry? I feel like crying. That's I, cool. I, I thought, well, that's a that's a great story is what I thought. I like stories like that in the yeah. songs. Like it's, when a song tells a whole story, it's fun. Yeah. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to get a tag that says, Giddy Up, Go. Nobody, only the old-timers, <laughs> country we'll music folks, song. will know what that's from. We'll be ready for a convoy after this. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy Coxy coming in hot. <laughs> Ten four one nine three seven. Breaker breaker one nine. <laughs> uh, you know, there's uh, people out there that are for real and are going like, stop. I know stop. they're like, please don't. Please. <laughs> I can't believe they're allowing us to try driving. I know. As long as you're 18. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. Well, this we got to see. This will be so It's gonna fun. be a rodeo. Okay. So yeah, I th I'm pretty sure it's at n around <clears throat> noon, 12 o'clock. On Saturday. It's on Saturday, okay. July 2nd, our teacher training academy, which is... We'll be is there with cameras. Main yeah, Street. No doubt. West Main out here, almost to the public safety complex, but on the other side of the road. South side. Yeah, you'll see it. Big old thing that says ABTC, so... Okay. Really fun. Um, so that's on Saturday. Those mm -hmm. two things happening Saturday. And then fast forward to Monday... July 4th, mm -hmm. Independence Day, mm -hmm. all the fun things. So Star Spangled Dash in the morning, mm -hmm. J.C. Park, Color Run, Red, White, and Blue. Um, fun Run. doesn't yeah, have to be super run. competitive, yeah. but it can be. Yeah. They're doing 5K, 10K. It's all going to be encompassed in the park. Um, they're doing registrations. I feel like it starts around 7, 7.15. Come get registered if you haven't already. And then... Um, the run will start around like 7.30. Okay. They're trying to get it out early so it doesn't get too hot. Then the parade. And then, and plus, you can get to the parade if you want to come down and watch mm -hmm. the parade. Yeah. Bring, don't go shower. Bring all the color yeah. on you. And <laughs> I love to see I people. Do too. It's, it's shocking. I'm like, what happened to them? Oh, yeah. They went in the color They were run. running. Oh, yeah. They were running. Yep. Uh, but yes, yeah, they they are inviting you know kids with bikes, strollers. Like she said, it's it's a fun, it's a total fun run. But if you want to time yourself, you're more than welcome to. Mm -hmm. um, then of course the parade is at nine. They had a slight change of their route because Twenty Thing Grand is closed. Finally. Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, it is closed. It now. is mm -hmm. legit closed mm -hmm. that intersection. So um, they're going to come out next to Sonic. And ac go across Main Street right there on the Burger Bowman, King. next to Bur Burger King and the Holly Frontier and all that. And then um, take a right onto Eagle Draw on Mahone. Okay. So then they'll loop through the whole Eagle Draw. And so you can see it twice. Go head out to the park and watch it. And It's kind of a nice place to watch a parade. There's mm -hmm. trees and benches and grass. walking paths and grass. And yeah. You can watch it. And then as it's making its way across uh, Rose Roseland, Roseland. Mm -hmm. you can walk through the park to the other side and Watch it again. see it again. Is there a theme? I mean, it's Independence Day, but there is there a is. specific theme for the... Let I think it's Let Freedom Ring, but let me double check that. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, let freedom ring. Okay. So I'm going to bring a doorbell. Yes. And I'm going to bring my cell phone. We should have um, the bell from the bulldog Ooh, bowl. I wonder if they already do. That's a really good idea. They should be in the parade. I agree. Who rings that bell? I feel like we learned this at our traditions assembly last year. Who gets to ring that bell? Is it Honor Society kids? It's someone, someone special like that. Anywho, uh, let freedom ring is the theme for this year's parade. You would think we would know that after all these years. Somebody should comment. Are we on Facebook? Yes. I feel like it is like um, student council or honor roll. Yeah. Would be my guess. Is yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyway, so then that that's the parade, and mm-hmm. then uh, four on four volleyball tournaments also happening at JC Park. Mm-hmm. Um, that is starting at nine. However, she does understand people want to do the parade. Um, registration is at eight, and then the pool play starts at nine. So they'll start pulling names of the teams that are going to start, you know, together. And um, if you are at the parade, you can say, I'm on my way. I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> She's fine. I think just communicate yeah, with, her. with yep. them All right. um, on that. Okay. Who are we communicating with? Well, I guess oh, like, it's, it's Trent, Trent. Trent Taylor took Not over her, this year. Him. Him. <laughs> Let me open this back up and tell you. Okay. View. And all this information is on our website, yep. and you can register on our website. Oh, look at this. It's uh, 20 pers- $20 per person. Contact Trent, 575-703-1406 if you'd like to play. Excellent. Yep. No more than two men on the court at a time, so they really want it to be co-ed. Okay. Two men on each team. Or on two men on the at court. A time. <clears throat> so they're on each be- team. No, I think on each team. It says on the court at a time. So you can have more men on your team, but only two can play at but a I time. But I think they mean on each and side. Then you can. Right. Then you I mean, can- are we taking that literal to mean that if I have, my team has two men, no. your team can't have any men no. on the court? No, it's, it's per, it's per yeah. team. Okay. You're right. Gotcha. You're right. Two Our, versus two. Yeah. Gotcha. Makes that makes sense. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Because what if the official is a man? That doesn't count. Th- is you know, there that would thing? that would take up one of the spots. Probably. You know, so. Well, yeah. sometimes you have to officiate yourself, which is yeah. hard. I don't know. I don't know. I can't Anywho, remember. I had heat stroke last time. We're that. we're trying not to make it any more complicated <laughs> right. than I know. what it is. And here we are. <laughs> Overthinking everything. <laughs> and there are going to be. Oh, I don't know actually. Oh, yeah, we don't know that yet. Okay. We're hoping that well, yeah. some. Um, okay, and then Cornhole Tournament yes, at 4. Yes. That's also a JC Park. He's doing two different brackets. So he's doing a bracket for those that are super competitive. They bring their own bags, mm-hmm. the guys that really take it seriously. And then he's doing a bracket for... Amateur Hour. Fun. My favorite. Yes. Okay. Families and, he and be... fun. He is... Um, Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But it's from Top Dog Cornhole. Gotcha. The folks from it's Mike okay. Gamboa. Okay. That's his name. There you go. And then fireworks. Fireworks. At dark, mm-hmm. around nine. Mm-hmm. JC Park. Don't hold us to the time because sometimes it's a little bit after that when he wants it to be perfectly dark. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, we're really excited. We've got you coming out, mm-hmm. playing the music at the park. So come out and listen to that, or tune in to AM 990. I never listen to the FM side. I always listen to AM. <laughs> well, thank you. You're, yeah. you're uh, four. There's four of you now. Four of us. Yeah. Oh, I do too. Um, or 93.7 FM. Yeah. And tune, tune your station into that, and you can listen to the um, wonderful fireworks program. Yes, because it is choreographed to music. And the music is fun this year. Did you listen to it yet? I have not listened to it it's yet. It's a good oh, variety. I'm good. get spoiled uh, on that, so I will, I will listen to that. And we'll have we a couple should. of PA speakers out where we are. So, I mean, if you're up near where we are in that general vicinity, you'll hear the music. But if you get any further back, you need to have a radio with you or something like that. Cool. So, yeah. We should do a post. People could guess what songs. The lineup. Uh-huh. What do you win if you... I know. We need to have I a don't prize. know. <laughs> you win bragging rights to be right. You know what? There was a <laughs> there was a episode of WKRP in Cincinnati... We may do this. And um, you had to guess the songs in the montage, and you won the prize. And the prize was supposed to be $50. And Johnny Fever got on there and messed up and said it was like $5,000. Oh, boy. And that really created quite a stir. And so they edited the songs, hopefully to the point that nobody Mm -hmm. could get the songs. 
And, uh, of course, the first time they played it, the first contestant got like four of the five songs oh, right, no. even though it was highly edited. So what we could do is I'll, I'll get, uh, I'll see who wants to do that. We'll take the soundtrack, but we'll, we'll That'd be fun. snip it up to where it's just little pieces of the songs. And then people can guess, uh, can guess the songs. And that would be so That would be fun. really have fun. Some kind of prize for the... For the, yeah, uh, not $5,000. I don't no, think we can no. afford that, but... No, no, we can't either. We have a really cool orange mug. There we, we go. That would be that would be I'll awesome. I'll even fill it with your beverage of choice when you pick it up. Ooh. Coffee. Is that my only choice? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. that's so fun. No, it, it's... Um, that would be really fun. Okay. If we could have people... Guess what songs are going to be in this year's Fourth of July fireworks? And well, so we'll we'll snip it up. Okay. I think there's like seven of them. I bet there's more than that. Right. It's well, about we'll, over twenty five, minutes. Five or seven songs. Okay. We'll, anyway, we'll, we'll put it together and cool. uh, see if we can get that done. And so, do you have to take a break, or can we go to? Yes, the, okay. we do need to take a break. Uh, we're not too far behind schedule. Uh, we have a news update and Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs. I think he's back from vacation, or somebody's back from vacation, representing Lou Dobbs. So. Oh, there's your flower. Okay. Look, and I'm wearing the shirt that matches the color. Okay. What is that? If you're watching online, what is the image that Jeffrey has on the screen? Right comment. Now? Do I? Oh, do do we want people to comment, or do you want me to just say it? They well, they I don't know. I if can say gonna... it. It's a hardy hibiscus. Okay. And it's her first bloom this year. She just planted it right after Mother's Day, and it's in Roswell, and it's beautiful. And they do house. really well in Artesia, supposedly. Yes, I we got that at Sun Country Gardens. Excellent, excellent. So take a look.